Hello everyone, welcome to Raccoon City here in Resident Evil 2 The Remake. I'm going to show you all the collectible locations. I am not going to show you any of the key items in the game because I want you guys to experience that on your own. The experience of finding them and discovering how the puzzles work and everything should be your own experience. So I'm going to show you the 58 files of 15 Mr. Raccoons, which by the way unlocks a unbreakable knife that you can use. Six inventory upgrades as well as all eight locations of the locks and safes, plus the two portable safes. Those are actually tied to the inventory upgrades. Now, you must play Leon and Claire's A story, and then you have to do Leon and Claire's B story. So the guide order is going to be Leon A first, followed by Claire A. And then if you're going to do Claire first, just skip to her part of the guide about 20 minutes in, get her unique collectibles, and then you can return and do an Leon playthrough and get all of the rest. And then I'm going to do a second run for both of those characters. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Starting off on Leon's first run here, the first file is actually one that's already going to be in your inventory. So just hit the triangle button, go to your inventory, tab over, and you'll see there's a letter there for you to read. So number two is going to be in the watchman's room. And this is going to be story related. Okay, You're going to hear this guy banging on the door and he's going to give you a book. This is actually going to tell you the puzzle solutions, tell you kind of what to do. So it's not missable. Just make sure you read it. File number three, we're going to go into the operations room here on the first floor of the police station. And you're going to find this to the right hand side. You'll see there's also a map back there as well. I'm not going to show you map locations. If you want to find them, you can. But here is the police station map. There it is. So next up, we're going to go to the West office. The West office actually has several collectibles in here. There's going to be three files, three locks, and a Mr. Raccoon. So the first file is going to be the use of gunpowder right here on the desk. Claire's campaign actually has the same file. You need to read that same one because they both count as two different ones. Most of them will count either playthrough. So the second uh, file was just around the corner there. Now there's a lock safe here. We're going to open this thing up. And it's going to, combination is going to be 9, 15, and 7. Inside will be our first of six inventory upgrades as well. Again, you're going to get a trophy for doing all the locks, all the inventory upgrades, all the Mr. Raccoons, and all the files. So in the same West office, we're going to get our third file, file number 6. And that's going to be right here on this top of this desk. Now there are also two more lock combinations and it's actually both right here on this desk on the left side and the right side. So lock number two is going to have a combination of Ned. It's the left lock of this desk. And then our third lock we're going to do is going to be on the right hand side. This combination is MRG. And you'll get yourself a nice little gun upgrade as well. When you pick it up and it's in your inventory, if you uh, look in your inventory and then select combine and then you can select combine with the Matilda to upgrade it. Now our first of 15 Mr. Raccoons is also in the same office. It's going to be just above here in this corner. You'll see it from the desk with the two locks on it. All right, so file number seven, we're going to go to the safety deposit room. We'll come back here later because there's an inventory upgrade that we're going to get. But there's also a file, so it's going to be right here on this desk. Make sure you read through that. Now we're going to head over to the dark room. Dark room, in addition to having a typewriter, also has a file that you can read right next to the desk. Now we're going to head over to the shower room and we're going to find another combination lock. And this is going to be right here on this locker. We're going to put in the, the word cap to open this thing up. This is up on the second floor of the police station on the uh, west side of the station. So there's also a file here as well. It's going to be right here on the wall. It's going to tell you some instructions about the portable safe. Read that because there's a portable safe just to the right of it. How convenient. So basically how it works is you got to get the lights to all light up. So once it's in your inventory, examine it and then enter in the code in the correct order. It's trial and error and it's completely randomized each time for every player. So write down which light corresponds to each button and then you just have to do it in a order in a clockwise or counterclockwise circle. Now inside of this is going to be a small part. That's one of two that we're going to need for one of our inventory upgrades later on. 
All right, so now we are heading up to the third floor. So as we're climbing up the third to the third floor stairs, I'm gonna head straight. The room to our right is where you get the one of the keys. So there's a locker here, another combination. We're gonna enter in DCM to open this thing up. All right, so still up on the third floor of the police station, we're gonna follow the outside path here to the west storage room. Now, before you enter that west storage room, if you head straight back, there's a file, you wanna read that. Then we're gonna go inside of that west storage room of the third floor of the police station, and there's going to be two items right next to each other. It's gonna be our second inventory upgrade and file number 11. I call it file 11 just because that's chronologically the order in which I got it, not how the game labels them. The inventory upgrades are by far the most valuable item in this game. All right, so now let's go over to the east side. Second floor, we got the waiting room. Inside the waiting room on the desk is a guide pamphlet. Now there's also a combination here, a safe, and you're gonna enter in six to 11. Not sure if I just went the right way there or not. And we did, and we're gonna have another weapon upgrade here as well. So combine the muzzle break with the Matilda. All right, so now we're gonna to head to the art room. The art room is going to have two things of importance here for you. First is gonna be the file, the collectible. Make sure you read that. And then there's going to be a, a storage room key here, a weapon locker key rather. So we're gonna go back there momentarily, but first let's go to the star's office. That's on the west side, second floor. And we're gonna file number 14. It's in the same room where you pick up the battery. And then behind this desk is going to be the piece of paper that we need to read. There is also a Mr. Raccoon here in this same West, uh, the star's office rather. And that's going to be in the back right corner. See it behind this monitor sitting on the desk. Go ahead and shoot him. Now we're gonna get inventory upgrade number three in the operator's room. This is the middle section of the underground facility. Uh, you're gonna come down here, you got the typewriter, and inside this locker is going to be the hip pouch. So definitely pick that up. So we are now in the jail cell area. And if you go to the back of this, uh, you're gonna see a panel, you gotta solve a puzzle. You gotta find two parts for the puzzle and then solve it. Once you uh, done that, the you can progress through the game, but we aren't at that point yet. Uh, so we're gonna first pick up file number 15. We will return there later though. So file number 16 is gonna be in the morgue. The morgue, as soon as you enter, it's gonna be just to the left-hand side. There's another very valuable key item in this room, which I'll let you figure out. So file number 17 is gonna be in the firing range, as well as file number 18. So that was 17, here's number 18. There will also be a raccoon. If you read that, it would have told you. Oh, it looks like we got some friends. Let's take care of these guys real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go into the firing range here. You don't actually have to. You can go from the stalls uh, looking down range and spot it, but it's gonna be in the back left corner here. There's also some ammo in here. That's, I believe shotgun ammo, if that's of any value to you. All right, so now we've left the underground parking garage area. We are back upstairs. We are now in the break room. In addition to a item box and a typewriter, there's a Mr. Raccoon hidden behind this bag next to the bed. Mr. Raccoon number five is going to be, uh, you're gonna use the crank that we got underground in the, in the parking garage area, and we're gonna use this crank and open up a shutter door. Inside here is going to be the, clearly the most obvious raccoon you can find in the game. It is literally going to be right in front of your face as we walk in here. Won't be that difficult to spot. So file number 19, we are in the observation room. The observation room has a file right here on the desk. And now we're gonna head back to the star's office and get file number 20. Now this is a little bit more complicated. In that observation room that I was just in, there's a little box. You have to put a crystal inside that box to get this badge. The back side of the badge reveals a USB drive. Now in order to open up that box, you have to put in a crystal. You get that crystal in the art room. 
in the art room, you have to combine a book that you get from the library with the arm that's there, combine them, add, put them to the statue, and you can grab the crystal thing from, from that. So once you grab that, you can go down to the observation room, get the badge, come up here, put it in the computer, get access to this room, get the gun, as well as file number 20. I know there's a lot of information, but we have another portable safe. This is in the linen room. I believe you have to use the diamond key to get inside of here. So pick up the portable uh, safe, just like last time, examine it, do the puzzle, and there's gonna be another part. In that part, in addition to the one we got earlier, we're gonna take us back to the safety deposit room here and use those two parts we got from the portable safes. Use them on this machine, replace the broken numbers, and now dial in code 203. You can also dial in other locker codes if you want, but 203 is the one that contains the inventory upgrade. You also use that weapons card that we got earlier to get the shotgun out of there. All right, so file number 21. After you've done the little puzzle here in the library, allows you to climb up to the top and access this door. And we are gonna make our way over to the clock tower. Inside the clock tower, as soon as you enter it on the little table is the repair plan. Make sure you read through that. There is also a Mr. Raccoon in the same area. So I'm gonna exit out the back door of this clock tower. And follow it all the way to the end to find Mr. Raccoon. Remember, in addition to the trophy you get for uh, shooting all raccoons, you'll get a unbreakable knife. Although if you stick it in an enemy, make sure you retrieve it. All right, so now we are back in the jail cell from the parking garage area. Uh, we did the puzzle right there on that panel. We've opened this jail cell right behind us. And did more than just open this one. But inside this room is Ben's memo. Pick that up. That's file number 22. File number 23 is also in this I don't believe it's missable. You'll get it when you talk to this guy. I mean, not really talking to him. All right, so moving on. Mr. Raccoon number seven is going to be in the sewers area after you deal with Mr. Crocodile here. As soon as he is defeated, you're going to turn around and you're going to find this to the left-hand side. So make sure you shoot that before you climb up the ladder. Now we're gonna do Ada's section here. After the second fan that you destroy, you're gonna drop down into a room with one of these zombies. Go ahead and hack that. Before you go through that green door, make sure you go to the table here and inspect this. Don't worry, that zombie's really slow. So at the end of Ada's section, before you go into the incinerator, which you have to unlock uh, with this lever just to the right of me, there's a note there. So file number 25 was just to the left here. Now there's also our eighth Mr. Raccoon. So after we pull that switch and head into the incinerator, but before we do that, we're just going to go past it on the right hand side and make sure we shoot the raccoon first. File number 26 here. We are in the control room. We're back in control of Leon. <coughs> Pick up the file right there on the desk. And there's also another combination lock. It's going to be on the locker here to the left-hand side. The uh, code is SF, or actually SZF. All right, so number 27, we are in the monitor room. Uh, I'm right next to the sewers map. Let's just go ahead and grab that. And this is the room where you do the chest puzzle. Uh, there's a box here, typewriter. You'll be in this room a, a couple different times. But on the table next to the VCR is file number 27. And then file number 28 is in the chest puzzle area right on the desk. All right, so now we are in the treatment room here. And this is where the cable car platform is going to be located. It is where you get the handle, the red handle, right there to the left. So I'm going to just pick that up because I will need it in a little bit for something else. 
And then I'm going to go down the stairs and grab a, a file. Now, note that cable car, eventually you're going to ride it. Once you've done, you've reached the a point of no return. So don't ride that cable car until after you've done everything. So lock number eight here, we're in the same area in the treatment pool area. Uh, on the opposite side, there's a safe. The combination is written on the right side of that safe. But for your reference, it is two, 12, and 18. And I screwed it up, I believe. Inside of here will be a very nice upgrade to your shotgun. And that is also the last combination that we're gonna have to unlock and you'll get the master of unlocking trophy. Now at the end of the very dangerous bottom waterway, uh, you're gonna go to the supplies room here. This is where you're gonna get the, uh, do the chess puzzle piece uh, thing here. You're gonna, there's the king and queen pieces that are located in this area. Well, as you're walking up to it, before you get into it, there's a Mr. Raccoon there to the left-hand side. So now I'm going to use the T-bar handle slot and enter the workroom lift. So use the T-handle that we got earlier. And we're going to take this up and get inventory upgrade number five. Also up here is going to be a canister of film that if you want to run all the way back to the police station, to the dark room, develop that film, you can get two hidden objects. I do have a separate guide for that. If you do that, there's a separate trophy related to it. Remember, do everything, including that, before you ride the cable car. So there's the inventory upgrades, number five. So again, here is the all-important film tied to the that trophy, the name for which escapes me. So now I'm actually in the worker's break room. Inside of here is file number 30 right on the corner of the desk. Now note that file cabinet with the yellow tape on it. If you push that over, that will give you a shortcut path back to the police station if you want to do that film thing. So now we are in the laboratory. We are after the point of no return. Inside the left room, in the security room here, is going to be a map. So let me just go ahead and pick this up real quick. So make sure you've done everything before you ride that cable car. The cable car takes you here. I'm going to leave this room. And then head to the reception desk look at the computer and that is file number 31. File number 32 is real close by in the next room with the typewriter just to the left on the wall. So now I'm in the cafeteria. I'm about, I'm trying to get my wristband upgraded and then I'm going to see a ladder to climb up. Before you do in the cafeteria, look for Mr. Raccoon dancing and shaking his way over there. Now I'm back. Uh, in the beginning by the reception desk. Now that I've got the ID identification, the blue level, I'm going to exit it and immediately to the right is going to be a, a dead body with a, a voice recorder to so read that. We are now in the drug testing lab. In the corner is the next file, file 34. This is in the room where you make the mixture. File number 35 is going to be on the stairs. After you go in the greenhouse and you take the ladder down, there's a another path back up and on this blue chair is going to be the collectible. File number 36 is going to be in the lounge of B2. So once you interact and done that little puzzle, it'll open this door over here. And this is where you take the, uh, the, the mixture and freeze it to the right temperature. You know, on your way there, you'll pass a computer. Five new interact with that to get the file. All right, so next up is the presentation room. Now that we've gotten our ID band upgraded to purple, we can now interact with this computer now that we have the right credentials and get that. So now we're going to head all the way back to the nap room. This is by the reception area. Uh, we were here earlier near the cafeteria. And we're going to do this little uh, signal modulator puzzle once again. And now put it into this little machine. Once you've done that, it'll open up some shutters. And there are three collectibles here, an inventory upgrade, a Mr. Raccoon, and a file. And also a zombie, so be careful. He's gonna fall, I'm gonna take a couple shots at him. All right, so inventory upgrades right there is number six. That will earn you the uh, trophy. A waste of space. There's also a Mr. Raccoon in this same sleeping pod. So look in the upper corner there, let me Take care of this guy. Shoot Mr. Raccoon. That's number 11. Our 38th file is in the next sleeping pod. 
File number 39 is in the, the lab here in the west area. This is part of the story path. You got an item box here. Uh, once you've turned on the power, look in that computer. And then we're going to continue onwards here to the uh, another lab. This is where at, ultimately the game is going to start to wind down and end. But there is a terminal right there. And that'll be the last collectible in Leon's A playthrough. Now I'm going to select a new game, not a second run, a new game. And we're going to start from the beginning, but this time with Claire. Claire will have most of all of those collectibles we just got in her campaign, but she has some exclusive ones. Leon also has some exclusive ones. So I did Leon first, and now I'm going to do Claire. First one, same thing as Leon. She already has it in her inventory. So just as soon as you can, look at your inventory and read it. Next, we're going to head to the West office and look at the gunpowder note once again. Because Claire has different guns, her use of a gunpowder note is different, and thus a separate collectible. Number 43 is going to be in the parking garage area. Just to the right, right by where you get the map. 44 is going to be in the chief's office. There's two collectibles here, two files, 44 and 45, one on this desk and one on the table. Now, if you remember, if you do Claire's campaign first, just get these unique collectibles. You can go back and do Leon's, uh, on Leon's run, get all of the rest of them. So two collectibles in that room. Two more rooms over, the private collection room. Head back here. There's a heart key next to me as well. Mr. Raccoon number 12 is going to be in the east storage room. There's going to be a, a, a side room off of that with another door you need the heart key for. Inside the west storage room is the raccoon. Number 47 is going to be in the orphanage as you play as Sherry. As soon as you escape the bedroom, we are going to run down the hall. At the end of this hall here in the corner is file 47. Then as Sherry still, we're going to go down into the front hall. In the front hall on the table over here is 48. Now number 49, as Sherry, still is the director's room. In the director's room is a typewriter as well, if you want to save your progress. And just to the right of that typewriter is the diary. So back is Claire. Mr. Raccoon number 13 is uh, just past the basketball court here. So this is where you're going to meet the dogs for the first time during Claire's campaign. And we're going to make our way on and through the bus. Once you've entered the bus, you'll see the raccoon right in front of you. Right in the windshield. Be hard to miss this one. Mr. Raccoon number 14 is in the orphanage, but this time as Claire. So I'm in the front hall. I'm actually going to go up to the second floor. You may have seen this raccoon as Sherry, but Sherry didn't have a means to which to destroy it. So Claire is going to come in. Go up to the second floor and shoot the raccoon. There's also a file, file number 50 in the bathroom. Make our way around through this door and to the right. All right, so number 51, uh, we are in the sewers. Claire has uh, one unique collectible here, it's in the office. There's a typewriter and an item box. And now she has one collectible in the laboratory, in the room where you put down uh, Sherry, the computer just to the left of her. So let's do a second run of, of uh, this time, Leon. And at the very beginning, we're going to do, uh, we're in the graveyard, we're going to go underground here, and we're going to find a Mr. Raccoon just to the left. It'll be our final one. So now we're doing Leon's B playthrough, and then we'll do a, a Claire B playthrough. And there's the uh, trophy for getting all of the Mr. Raccoons. You also get the bonus weapon, the uh, combat knife, which doesn't break. But if you stick it into the chest of an enemy, make sure you kill it and retrieve it. I lost mine every time. All right, so next, file 53. We're in the workman's room, and next to that is a scrap of paper. It gives you hints on puzzle because it's a different playthrough. You have to get new hints for the puzzles. And back in the main hall, same thing. 
find file number 54, notebook with missing pages, clues on the puzzle. Now we're going to go up to the star's office and Claire has left us a note. So we're going to go and find it by this bulletin board by where the locked weapon cage is in the star office. And now he has one collectible in the sewers. This is by the where the cable car is located. And this is right where you get the handle. Just to the right of the handle is going to be file number 56. So that's it for uh, Leon's B run. Now we're going to do a new game second run with Claire. Put whatever difficulty you want. This is actually where I got my... 14,000 step and uh, S rating. All right, so 57 is going to be in the star's office. Uh, now Leon has left a memo for us. So get that in the star's office, then head down to the cable car in the sewers once again. This time we're gonna have a note this, uh, left from us by Leon and pick that up. And that will give us the trophy for all of the lore in the game, all the files. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe.